Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Britt and I'm the owner of Even If Kennel Company. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I make my concrete vessels. My first supply that I'm using is a silicone bowl. Um, these are nice and flexible. Of course, you use this to mix your concrete and water in. And you wanna make sure that you have one of these or another mask because uh, it's not safe to be handling concrete without protection over your nose and mouth. And then I also have my scale that I'll link below too. Um, these are incredible. I love how accurate these scales are. So I do have separate scales for my kitchen and for my crafting. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, I have my cup of distilled water here already poured in there and I am going to be using a flexible spatula. I like these um, because you can easily scrape, scrape inside the bowl and they mix nicely with the water and concrete. And then I do have my mold here. These are the three inch molds that I get from Modern Craft Labs. Let me take it out of here and you can see the imprint there three inch tulip mold. So you can, you know, obviously pick whatever mold you want, whatever matches your personality and your style the best. And if you want to add a color uh, pigment to your concrete, you can. Today I'm going to be using a charcoal dark gray color. Um, I get my pigments from direct colors, but there are so many places that you can get them. Uh, I am actually getting some from Amazon. I believe it's showing up today. When I first started, I used these uh, hefty uh, zipper bags here. Uh, I am actually getting, uh, today is just a day of delivery, I guess. So I'm getting jars to hold my pigment in. Uh, so it's obviously easier to you know open a lid instead of dealing with you know, dealing with the zipper, sometimes it doesn't zip back up and, you know, they're not meant to last forever. So I will be linking those below as well. I'm excited to get those in today. Uh, so let's get started. So I have my mask on, you can probably hear that. And so I am going to be measuring my concrete here. Uh, I use 260 grams of concrete per vessel. Um, they actually say uh, per inch to use 100 grams of concrete, um, but I found that I was wasting concrete while using that measurement. So I switched it down to, you know, between 260, 265, and I found that I am pretty spot on uh, and I'm not wasting. Obviously, you don't want to waste product. Uh, so I found that works best for me. So I am grabbing, you can probably hear it scraping. I am grabbing my concrete, put my scale on, and like I said, 260 grams, so I'm going to measure this now. Might have to put more in the scoop. Nope, actually a little much there. All right, close enough. Put the scoop back in my tote. All right, and now I'm gonna tear my scale out. And I use like six grams, between five and six grams um of color here so I have my spoon here and I am going to measure five grams all right that's close enough guys all right take it off the scale and turn your scale off. Now I am going to mix, while it's dry, I'm gonna mix the uh, color pigment in with the cement before I add water. Let's give it a nice 
nice stir. Make sure it's all nicely blended in together. All right. And this is what it looks like when it's all stirred in. It's actually not much different than what the natural concrete looks like, but don't let that fool you. Um, trust your measurement, that is plenty, and you'll see once I put the distilled water in. All right, so now that that's nicely blended in, I'm going to pour some distilled water in. So I don't measure my water, sorry. Um, I don't, um, I actually make sure it's kind of a smoothie like consistency. So pancake, I've heard a lot of people say that that's a little too watery. Um, so if you make it too watery, it can actually cause a lot of air bubbles, the more water you put in. So just be mindful, mindful of that. Pour. You want to pour just a little at a time. You can see it actually being a little, see it being turning into the gray color there. And like I said, you want to pour in a little at a time um, because too much is not good and you can't remove it. So start off little by little. And it starts, you know, getting clumpy here. Stir, stir, stir. Break up the clumps. More water. I'm starting to starting to turn into that consistency that I like. Let's put more water in there. Not much though. You can kind of see it's starting to, starting to get there a little bit. add a little more all right let's see if this is what I would like it to be I love doing these guys it's so much fun to make your own vessel and just make it your own you know it's just I love creating things and I hope this inspires you to do that too. I think guys, I think this is good. So yeah, this is it's thicker. It's not pancake too watered down. So I'm going to put my spoon on the side on my napkin here. And here's my three inch mold and slowly pour. So I, other people, because of the consistency, they can actually just keep pouring and not stop each time. So whatever consistency works better for you, um, do that. This is a little more time consuming, <laughs> but it's worth it. It's um, prevents, prevents uh, bubbles. While I'm pouring in, I'm going to be rotating. All right, I'm gonna get my spoon and just scrape, scrape it in.
So you're going to see bubbles come up. You might be able to see them in here. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. Huh? Um, so you want to you want to tap as much as you can, not for too long, but it's not necessary to get it, get to get it perfect. I'm going to scrape as much as I can out the excess. So I'm not wasting. Okay. All right. I think I think this is it, guys. So can see there's no bubbles but like I said you really don't have to worry too much you know if there's a bubble here and there um, being handmade and handcrafted it's not gonna be perfect and I think that's the beauty in it to be honest so don't uh, don't stress out too much about that um, but yeah, so that is the finished product. I mean, it's looking good. And there you have it. This is how you make a concrete vessel. Um, pretty neat. And in a future video, I'm going to be showing the marble effect and all these, you know, fun little ways, adding two colors and I hope that you guys learned from this. It's just, it's so much fun creating something out of your hands and forming this. Um, so I do hope that, I hope that you find joy in it. Um, and that's ultimately the most important part. And that's how I make my vessels using concrete. I hope you guys enjoyed. And any of the supplies I use in the video, they will be linked below in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking my videos. It's really appreciated and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.